babes, today I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial for you how I do these smoky eyes that I so often do. I start with an illuminating cream, like a primer type product, um, before I go on to my foundation because that makes it go on so much smoother. Uh, and I'm following it up with uh, my uh, Lumine foundation. It's quite light coverage, doesn't go on too heavy on the skin. Blend that in with my fingers. Then I take my Lumina under eye concealer and I use that for kind of everything. It's very illuminating so I apply it on uh, both like my under eyes and around my nose and on my forehead and stuff. I blend it out with a brush to begin with just to smooth it out. And then I go in with my hands afterwards just to warm it up and really pat that into the skin so that it looks really smooth. And by the way, um, I haven't done like anything nice for this video. This is like my hair is dirty and my apartment looks like uh, shit, but it feels honest. <laughs> now I go in with a higher coverage concealer just wherever I need like that little extra bit of coverage. Now it's time for my face powder, I apply that kind of everywhere and then I go in with my bronzer afterwards. I apply like a bit of bronzer, not too much, just to warm up the skin to begin with. Uh, I'll apply more later when I see how much I need, but I start with a little bit. So most of my cheekbones and stuff, some at the temples, kind of. Then my eye primer, apply that on my top lids. I don't bother smudging it on my bottom lids because then it gets all messy. And here's like the star of the show. This is the Semi Sweet palette by Too Faced. I start by applying this medium shade that's more like a copper. And I go all over the lids, kind of up in my crease a bit. Uh, I apply with a slightly fluffy brush so it will blend while it applies. Uh, then I go onto my lower lash line. Don't be afraid to apply much to the lower lash lines because it will look uh, less hot topic <laughs> when you have your mascara on. So just uh, go in and smoosh it in there. Um, then I apply uh, like a cream color and blend that out at the crease and then go in with a medium bronze shade. Uh, I push that into the outer parts of my uh, lash lines and... Uh, upper lids just to deepen that part. I really like this effect that like widens the eyes uh, without making them look heavy. Uh, so I just pat like a circle at the outer corner and then blend with this cream color again. And then I go in with the darkest color, apply that just like the others, just pat it onto the outer parts of the lids, just like even more concentrated, and then smooth it onto my lower lash lines as well, still keeping it quite hot topic. <laughs> it should look like a panda at this stage. Um, yeah, and I go back with the copper as well on the lids just to smooth that whole thing out. Um, and like rebuild that color and I keep blending. <laughs> blending is the key to these looks. Clean up the under eyes with my concealer brush, brush, blush with whatever I, left, I have left on it. Uh, and here's the highlighter. I pat it onto the inner corner of the lid, sweep it into like the inner part of the crease. Um, I go on quite heavy with this because I really find that it brightens nicely. So onto the inner part of the eye and then I use like the last bit in the brush to blend out the eyeshadow. Then I curl my lashes and now let's look at me applying mascara like an idiot. Uh, I keep layering and layering and layering and layering because I really like the look of too much mascara. I know it's far too much but I really like that kind of clumpy look especially with looks like this. Uh, it takes down that panda feeling from the um, uh, from the smoky eyes and makes them look more glam. Uh, so I just go on like li right left right left right left and build and build and build and build. I never let it dry between the coats because then it gets all clumpy. 
But yeah, then we go back in with the bronzer and see wherever we need more and how much we need. Um, and follow up by a highlighter. Uh, this one goes on the tops of my cheekbones, some on the brow bone. Uh, quite heavily on like the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, upper lip and my chin. Finally it's time for eyebrows. Uh, I don't bother dyeing them anymore as my hair is very coppery. So I, um, I don't dye them like I used to do when I have darker hair. Because uh, then it's easier to fill them in with this kind of coppery shade and make them match my hair. Because if I dye them to the dark then it would be hard to match this copper shade. So uh, yeah, just layering that into the brows, heaviest on the outer parts and uh, like feathering them inwards. <laughs> And uh, once the brow powder is on, I go in with uh, like a brow wax kind of product in uh, like a little mascara for your eyebrows, basically. I brush my brows up with this to make them look like they grow upwards uh, on the inner corners, which they don't. And glue the last part down so that they won't smudge. Uh, and then I apply just a pale beige gloss. Uh, I applied a pink before, it looked like shit, so I went with the pale shade. And then line my lower lash lines with um, a cream color. And there we go, that's the look. Um, I really hope you understand anything of this. And uh, I'll talk to you in my next video, I guess. Hope that will be soon. So take care, have a great day.